Got another question for the paper three questions playlist. So we're up to number 35 now. So this one's got eight short questions about elements on the periodic table. And before we start, I must point out that part D, there's a typo. It should read unpaired D electrons. I think it just says unpaired electrons. So make sure you make a note of that before you start the questions. Hope you like the video and as always the link to the questions on the description of the video if you want to try them first. So part A, three elements that when in a molecule can form hydrogen bonds with other suitable molecules. Well the obvious one to go for is hydrogen itself but the other three you could have fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen. So any three from that list of four is fine. Part B, so the element in period two with this set of successive ionization energies. So we're talking about from lithium to neon. So we're looking for the big jump up in ionization energy. And that tells us when we're breaking out from the outer shell into an inner shell. And you can see that that occurs after the sixth ionization energy. So six to seven's the big jump. So that means this element's in group six. So therefore it's oxygen. Part C, an element that's a solid at RTP with a simple molecular lattice structure. Well, you've got two choices. You can either go for phosphorus or sulfur. And just a reminder for revision, phosphorus forms the P4 molecule and sulfur forms the S8 molecule. Moving on to part D, so the one with the typo one. So the two elements with five unpaired D electrons are manganese and chromium. And there's just a reminder of their electronic structures. So manganese, argon, 3D5, 4S2, and chromium, argon, 3D5, 4S1. Part E, so we're looking for the element in period three, so that's sodium to argon, that has the giant covalent structure, and it is silicon. Part F, P block, right-hand side of the periodic table, in period three that forms a compound with fluorine with octahedral molecules well the answer is sulfur and the um, molecule in question is sf6 part g so the element that forms one minus ions the most readily is obviously fluorine and finally part h so this mass here is obviously for a single atom so we want to work out what the element is so we're going to have to work out its molar mass so we're going to need to multiply this by Avogadro's number. Comes out at 74.9. So which element is that? It's arsenic. 